EA Sports. It's in the game. EA Sports. It's in the game. NASCAR Thunder 2003. How's it going, guys? How's it going? Young Dale Jr. with the sunglasses and the goatee beard. How is everyone doing? Well, I don't know how. I don't know why, but I've never played this game on this channel, which makes absolutely no sense. So here we are, NASCAR Thunder 2003 on the channel. Uh, yeah, it's that, that simple. I, I literally, 20 minutes ago, real. I, I went on YouTube and I looked at all my videos. I typed in the search bar. I said NASCAR Thunder 2003. Nothing showed up. I thought I made a video on this game. I didn't. So here we are. And welcome to the game that I played the most in my childhood. Not 2004. If you guys remember, when I started NASCAR Thunder 2004, it, for long-time subscribers, remember? <laughs> for long-time subscribers that you guys remember, um, when I started that way back whenever that was, three, two, three years ago, I don't, I don't really remember. But that, uh, I never played 2004 before. Not in my childhood. I, I didn't play that game. I, didn't, I don't think I had it. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know why, but I just never did. This was the game I had. I, I remember specifically in career mode doing an insane amount of races and I won seven championships in this career mode on this game So this is the game. I know extremely Extremely well shout out to all the patreon supporters for always supporting the channel You guys are a massive massive help as to why I keep on doing this and uh, Links in the description below and everything so let's get into it We're gonna go through a full rundown of what is in NASCAR Thunder 2003. Is it as good as NASCAR Thunder 2004? No, but this is the nostalgia game for me, because as, as you remember, as I just said, I did not play 2004 when I was a kid. Um, I played 2004 on the channel for the first time, and it was incredible. It was very, very good. But uh, this was the game that I, oh, and, well, we, we're going to, the, see, when you don't, in the old school days of video games, when you don't touch the controller, it sends you to a AI demo. Um, so basically, it's going to show you a race where the AI run. I'd actually watch a lot of this, by the way. I would, I would watch this uh, when I was a kid. I would just let it go to AI and, 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 you know, I just watched this race. So apparently we're at Michigan. We got, uh, is that Jimmy Spencer in the 41? I don't, I don't really know, but we got him in there. So that's a cool, cool little feature. And the lightning challenge. Oh man, I can't believe, you guys know for a fact, I am making a lightning challenge video. Uh, that's coming next week, no matter what. You guys know that for a fact. Cause there's, there's the main one. Uh, do you guys remember the main one? Let's just, let's just go to it. Let's get it out of the way. The, the main challenge. I'm not no talking about any of this stuff. Um, by the way, you can listen. Just lands, he'll grab the third spot. Trouble, Rusty Wallace spins off. Incredible. So each one of these has the MRN radio call. So uh, let's just pick a random one that I might remember from, what is this, the year 2001, 2002? I think it's 2002. Uh, I think it's Gordon, Jeff right? Gordon seems to have a special feel for this racetrack. He's won twice already at Indianapolis Motor Speedway, and he's going for a third. MRN radio are kings, man. That's all I'm going to say. But where's the main one? Here it is. This is it. The big one. This one. You know how many times I did this challenge? I did this challenge so many times. I failed so many times, but this is the main one. Um, we're gonna come. We're gonna come back to this at the end of the video. I, I don't know. I was was confusing. Like, sh should I save that for the lightning challenge video? No, we'll do that in this video. But let's save that. Let's go through all all, all that the game has to offer. Um, so it doesn't have a lot to offer. Let's be fair. Uh, you have all of the uh, thunder plates. These are all paint schemes. Now I will. Uh, I do remember um, the paint schemes in this game. I had so much fun trying to get them. Um, I looked up cheat codes and how to get all these. I think there are cheat codes and to get all the thunder plates. Uh, if you go to Inside EA Sports, uh, I think there is a cheat code. It's like some sort of like when you go like up, up, down, down, left, LB, YB, 360, something like that. It, there, there are cheat codes on this game that you can get all the plates right away. Let's go look at some of the drivers. This is going to go. Oh, and by the way, the paint schemes in this game. Oh, my God. All right. So I'll show you guys my favorite, my favorite paint scheme. Uh, my favorite Jeff Gordon paint scheme uh, of all time. Do they have it in this one? It's the it's actually both of them are in this game. Uh, it's this one, the 2002 Dupont 200th uh, Chevrolet. That's one of my favorite of all time. And then you guys know I love me my Pepsi Pepsi paint schemes. Oh my god, I just absolutely love me my Pep Pepsi paint schemes. This 2002 July 4th. This one, I don't know which is better. This one or the billion dollar one from 2004. The fact that Gordon won the billion dollar one does help. But man, what a paint scheme! I'm so sad I can't really get you know fully in there. But, uh, ah, man, I love that paint scheme. I'm going to move myself to the bottom of the screen now so we could go through all the drivers. You can see them on the top right. We got Robbie Gordon. Again, so many good paint schemes. Look at this Looney Tunes paint scheme. I think most of this video is just going to be us going through paint schemes, to be honest. So good. Oh, my goodness. Jeff Green 
in the 2002 America Online Chevrolet. Then we got Bobby Hamilton here in the 55. Again, very, very good paint schemes as well. Uh, we got Kevin Harvick. I mean, some of these are just sick as well. We have, uh, then this was actually one of my most, uh, my favorite underrated uh, Harvick paint schemes. I really like the black in the front. Uh, where is, yep, there's a 2001, the famous one. Where is, did he have the red one yet? I don't think so. That came later. Yeah, that came like 2004, 2005, I think. Um, Dale Jarrett. Beautiful scenes. Working for NBC now. Again, great paint schemes. Which power of pride is in Jimmy Johnson's uh, paint, in paint scheme category? Oh, look at the power of pride. Oh, this might be, I'm telling you. My favorite paint scheme of all time. The power of pride series. I don't know which one. There are so many good ones. But Lord have mercy. Oh, Power of Pride, I love you. Actually, 2004 does have more paint schemes than 2003. I'm starting to realize that. But man, my childhood, I love it. We got Matt Kenseth. I don't. I always found this car to be very, very interesting. AT&T Broadband. Uh, we got Frank Kimmel in the 46. Bobby Lobonti. Um, I'm pretty sure the Joe Gibbs cars had a ton of paint schemes in this game. Yep, they did. We got 2,000 paint schemes with the MLB All-Star game. Frankenstein. We have a 1999 paint scheme in here. Uh, 1998 paint scheme in here. This is the Small Soldiers. What is that? That looks pretty decent. Uh, Coca-Cola. Yeah, there's a there's a ton of paint schemes. I know Tony Stewart has a ton as well. Uh, Terry Labonte in the 5. That answers my question from earlier this week when I was wondering who was in the 5 car in 2002. It was Terry Labonte. Sterling Marlin. We have Mark Martin here in the in the six. Uh, we got the Pfizer Ford, and <laughs> it's kind of fun. Who would have thought Pfizer? Who would have thought twenty years later how important they would be? But back in two thousand two, it was just another NASCAR sponsor. Oh man, Jeremy Mayfield, how you doing, my friend? Uh, I wonder if life is good for you. We all know. It's, oh, that is a sick Mountain Dew paint scheme, though. Oh my goodness, Jerry Nadeau. In the 25. So Hendrick was a four-car team. All right, that answers my question again. Uh, Ryan Newman in the 12 car. He has uh, not a lot of paint schemes. He has two in this game. Steve Park in the one. Kyle Petty in the beautiful 45 Sprint PCS Dodge. That is a beautiful, beautiful paint scheme. Shauna Robinson. Uh, one. I don't know if she is the only female in this game. She might be. I don't remember. But uh, we'll, we'll go through the rest of the list. We have Rick, and there are legend drivers, by the way. I don't have them unlocked because of the uh, thunder plates. I have to use the cheat code. Uh, Ricky Rudd, Elliot Sadler in the 21, Ken Schrader in the beautiful M and M's 36. Yes, for all my 15 and 14 year olds out there that uh, had no idea M and M's existed before Kyle Busch. This is the real man. All right, this is the real original M and M's driver, uh, and it is beautiful. Look, look at that pink. Ooh, the pink Pontiac. Oh, I love it. I love it. Uh, but yeah, this is the real one. Uh, that's uh, Ken Schrader. Mike Skinner in the Kodak Max film. Jimmy Spencer was in the 41. Good thing. All right. Tony Stewart with absolutely a ton of paint schemes. I'm going to quickly just scroll through them. I think this was one of my favorites, the Kids Workshop paint scheme. Uh, I had that unlocked as a kid. Uh, Jurassic Park, 2001 Home Depot, 2002 Snoopy, and uh, we get, there we go. We have Rusty Wallace. You can't use uh, the beer company in this game, but again, some pretty good uh, paint schemes. Michael Waltrip as well. John Andretti, Casey Atwood, oh, Casey Atwood, man, uh, Johnny Benson, Greg Biffle, Todd Bodine, uh, who else, Jeff Burton, Ward Burton, uh, Kurt Busch, I'm just speeding it up now, because I'll be here all day if I just go through all the paint schemes, uh, Ricky Craven, Dale Earnhardt Jr., he didn't have any because of, yeah, Budweiser, so that's unfortunate, uh, Bill Elliott, and that is it, there are a lot more, though, I know, uh, I think Daryl Waltrip's in this game, Kale Yarbrough's in this game, Bobby Allison is in this game, Dale Earnhardt's obviously in this game, Richard Petty, I think, is in this game, um, but th there are a lot, and they're right here, yeah, driver, driver, uh, driver, yeah, they're all here, these legend drivers are all locked behind the plates, okay, race modes, you had, uh, Lightning Challenge, Thunder License, um, this was just Time Trials, I think? I'm not, I, th I think it was Time Trials, I don't, I don't, I don't remember, I never, I don't think I ever did the, these as a kid, I, I did not do that. Um, and then you had Season and Career, Career is not as good as 2004, but this was the first one, Th this was the, uh, the foundation of Career Mode, so, uh, they, they really made this, oh, look at that 36 that just popped up on the screen oh lord have mercy it's so beautiful good god all right let's let's actually get into it i have to do a race now i think we're 10 minutes into the video and i haven't done a race yet okay tracks i gotta go gotta go through the tracks uh daytona dover homestead all the, your normal you know we, we all know the tracks here right but then there are fantasy tracks that i don't have unlocked okay so 
I should have probably done the cheat code beforehand so I could just show everything, but I don't have it. But yeah, there are a ton of fantasy racetracks. There is the Talladega road course here. Um, if you ever want to do a Talladega road course, we got it. All right, the Dixieland 500K, you can do that. And you can do at Talladega at night, which by the way, I keep trying to, uh, I mean, I don't have any contacts at Talladega, but if anyone wants to put forth the money, you guys deserve a night race. Talladega should have a night race. It should have had a night race 10 years ago. Don't have it yet. It should have a night one, so... If you ever want to do it, we had it in 2002 in fictional video games. And now to start off, let's let's do this. Let's do something different. Um, yes, yeah, so we're going to go to Daytona Beach. <laughs> so, yes, Daytona Beach was in this game. Um, the Daytona Beach 500. Was it accurate? No. Was it fun? Yeah, it was fun. The NASCAR Winston Cup Series returns today to the sandy beach of Daytona, Florida, site of the original Daytona 500. Can you believe it, Barney? What a great opportunity for the fans to come out and relive a piece of history today. Man, you're right, and I'm just as eager as everyone else to watch what happens today. This is where the great traditions began, right here on this very beach. Rusty Wallace is one of those drivers who always seems to be running up front. He's had an incredible run of success in winning races and finishing in the top ten in points. Add to that a solid qualifying program, and it's no big surprise that Rusty is one of NASCAR's winningest drivers. For the land of the free and the home of the brave. Gentlemen, start your engines. This wasn't different from 2004. You had the beautiful pre-race intros. Um, and yes, welcome to Daytona Beach. Now, guys, I, I've been to Daytona Beach. Um, it's, it's, it's kind of funny how inaccurate this is. It is a fantasy track, but still, there's... First of all, it's Florida. Those those mountains right there ain't possible in Florida. <laughs> those are... It's just not possible. Those are literally, like, mountains. Um, but yeah, it's just pretty funny. Uh, and it's, it's much more... Uh, uh, there's a lot more buildings. <laughs> That's all I'll say. But yes, this is this this is NASCAR. This is the fun of NASCAR Thunder 2003. I gotta I gotta get the the cheats and everything. Um, get out of my way, Jerry Nadu. Uh, who's in the 23? I have no idea. Uh, is he, uh, I I know Sean Robertson's in front of me, but I, I don't know really anyone. I'm gonna block you. All right, there's the there's the uh, the Atlantic Ocean to our right, by the way, guys. So everyone say hello to the Atlantic Ocean. I overdrove. Now, yeah, this doesn't make any logistical sense. I, I should not have any real grip on sand, but I do. Okay, nope, nope, no grip, no grip, no grip. We have a caution. I have to race back to the line. Okay, 10-4. Where's the line? Did we cross it? All right, we crossed it. I'm still in 16th. Okay, we're still in 16th. I got moved by camera. Right, BRB. All right, there we go, guys. We're good. We got the leaderboard on the bottom left. We got the track map. We got everything. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful scenes. Um, now, the handling on this game, for me at least, because I am playing on Dolphin Emulator with an Xbox One controller, it's a li So the, the biggest issue you have with these emulators is that this is a GameCube game. You have to remember that. Um, and so, using an Xbox One thumbstick... Wow, I suck. Jesus Christ. Well, to be fair, I'm on sand. I should not be able to actually, like, do well. I should not... This is not realistic. I'm actually angry. I just noticed pit road is on the back stretch here. <laughs> There's no front stretch pit road. But the thumbstick, it's just a GameCube controller's thumbstick is different, and so I have not been able to find the right sensitivity. Wow, I am bad. The right sensitivity for the the thumbstick to get the full actual, you know, controls down, which is probably why I don't play these games more often or use the Dolphin Emulator more often, just because I can't get... On a racing game, I can't get the sensitivity to, to be right. I probably should have turned cautions off so I could go backwards. That would have been a good idea. Because obviously, I don't have the talent enough to drive this car. And now I'm on fire. Oh, Lord. Oh, God. Oh, yep. Drive it to the infield, Jeff. Yep. Head on to the wall. All right. I want to I wanna get this out of the way quick because I, I need to do it. Okay. Where, where are we going to go for it, though? Let's pick up. What, what track should we do? It's probably like Talladega, right? Yeah. Yeah. Tal Taldegan, oh, I don't have it unlocked though. Damn it! Ooh, EA Sports 500, let's go. Green, when you see the green, it's time to go racing. Yellow, accident, race back to the line. White, the race is almost over. 
God damn it, I wanted to actually read the rest. I don't know what the trekker flag means. I, yeah, no thanks. No thanks. I appreciate it. No thanks. Yeah, alright. Uh, we have business to do. Welcome to the beautiful Talladega Motor Speedway. Uh, I have to see what we can get away with. <laughs> Look at those packed grandstands. Oh, beautiful scenes. I mean, we're just going for a nice, easy ride. Look at the, the nice, beautiful clouds. Only one cloud on this sunny 90-degree day in, in Alabama. Oh, Lord have mercy. Look at the banking. Oh, is this to Ron Speedway? Oh, God, here we go. Joy! Oh, the camera can't even catch up. Oh, Lord. The camera. I, I, I'm not controlling the camera. I can't control the camera. Oh, my car is destroyed. We can, we can see the pixels on the tires. And I wonder if I could turn myself over. Mm. I can, oh we oh there's oh there's cars everywhere, oh lord have mercy it, it's a junkyard, guys I can't turn my car over uh oh there we go we turned it over how am I not on fire just warming up the tires for the inevitable you know we're warming them up back left right left right go oh lord oh okay hi Rusty hi hi you're still on top of me okay oh I'm on fire in all different places okay there we go uh we got someone upside down I think that's Jeremy Mayfield. Yeah, Jeremy Mayfield's tumbling upside down. We're just gonna give him a little bit of a hello. Hi. Sorry. Right, right in the driver's side door too. That's not very ideal. All right, guys, it's time. <clears throat> it's time. Let's do it. It's the uh, the lightning challenge. Uh, the big one. So first, let's watch the the little pre-video because all these lightning challenges have pre-videos. First, let's watch that. How would you like to see this happening in front of you? Well. In the 2002 Aaron's 499 at Talladega, I found myself coming off of turn two, the big one, happening right in front of me when it was all over, 24 cars were involved in the wreck. Thankfully, everyone was safe, and best of all, the number four Kodak Chevrolet made it through unscathed. So now it's your turn to face the big one. Same setup, you're coming off of turn two at race speed at Talladega. The wreck is gonna happen. To pass the challenge, you need to make it through without a scratch. Good luck. I always hated the way he said good luck. Do you know how many times I watched that video? I had that thing memorized in my brain from when I was a kid. And every time he said good luck at the end, it always made me so mad. Alright, I've been through this one and two a million times. I know what's going to happen. They're going to wreck right about there. And, yeah. That's about how the, 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 the wrecks went for me. Yeah, that's, that's, yep. That brings back memories. Wow. All right, let's try this again. Uh, hood view. No, let's go chase view again. Wait, 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 wait. Yep, yep. See, that was always the hardest part. You can't leave the racing surface either. Uh, I wonder how long I'm going to be here for. All right, got a nice, beautiful view of what's going to happen. You know, if I could just get off turn two, maybe I'll have a better luck. Yeah, oh yeah, we will definitely have another chance spotter. Yeah, yeah, that's that's definitely going to be happening. I've, I've done this at least a hundred times. So the thing is, I am 24 now. I should be able to do this, like, within the first five tries. Alright, don't leave the race. Alright, listen here, Terry Labonte. I'm going to need you to flip up the racetrack, alright? When you take out Ricky Craven, I'm going to need you to flip up the racetrack. Just go up, okay? Le Go no. See, I can't I can't do that. Yeah, no, no, not not no, nope, nope, that's that's not ideal. See, this is what makes this challenge so beautiful, is every wreck is different. That's why this challenge was so amazing. Every single wreck is different. Alright, how am I gonna get but there is one way to pass it, and that is to stay on the bottom and wait for Labani to open up the hole. There is no hole. There's no way I'm gonna go there. If Labani ain't gonna wreck the right way, I look him and Bobby Hamilton back there are basically doing a 69. I mean, what do you want me to do? Ah, uh, for the hell of it, I'm just gonna go up high. <laughs> Watch, the whole, there ain't gonna be a hole up here. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> the one time Labonte went up. <laughs> the one time he went up the track, because I, when I, when I went up the track. Alright. I don't think I'm gonna end this, I, I can't end this video until I just I at least make it out of turn two, so I might as well just keep trying. Alright, let's get our left side tires. Alright, there. Oi! I'm on the brakes. There's nowhere to go. <laughs> There's nowhere to go. Oh, Lord. Life is a highway. Let me through. Let me through. It ain't letting me through. I can't leave the racing surface. Oh, man. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. Maybe I just got to keep my foot in it. You know, I'm going to keep my foot in it. 
keep my foot in it. Oh, wait, nope, nope, nope. Hit the brakes, hit the brakes, yeah. Because don't I have to get to a certain position as well? I'm pretty sure. Taken. A oh, oh, I just have to complete the lap. Oh. I thought I just had to avoid the wreck. Or, like, finish in a certain position. Oh, if I do have to avoid the wreck, that's... Never mind, that's actually kind of easy, right? I just can just wait, 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 wait. Oh, there we go. Bottom lane's open. Oh, what? What <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Oh. <laughs> uh, did Gordon really just catapult his rear end into my side and I went flipping? Is that really what happened? Okay. Okay. That was that was very interesting. Okay. Right. Just got I just just damn it. Yeah. I'm trying to get on the brakes, man. All right, I just, I can't make nose contact with anyone. I'll just get on the brakes. There we go. Labani, don't come down. There we go. That was actually a really calm wreck. Nothing happened there. But I thought that wasn't the case. I thought you had to finish in a certain position. I didn't think it was just avoid the wreck. I mean, look, the caution didn't even come out. No one actually wrecked. Oh, this, this doesn't count. This doesn't really count, does it? I don't want to complete it like this. That wasn't a real wreck. Nah. I take that back. Nope. Yep. That, that didn't count. Caution never came out. No one went flipping. It didn't count. Like, if I'm going to complete this challenge, I want to make sure I actually, like, avoid a pretty decent wreck. Kind of like that. Yep, yep. That 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 counts. This counts. Rusty. Oh, oh, oh dear God. Thank you for opening. Oh, where's Bobby Labonte going? What, what are these two doing? Oh, God. We got f four or five cars just upside down. What is going on there? That's Jimmy Johnson down there. Okay. That's a wreck. And uh, NASCAR is not throwing the yellow. Um, there is no yellow flag, even with six cars upside down in the infield. But hey, no yellow flag. All right, we move. Okay, so not as challenging as I thought. I, I thought that you had to finish in a certain position, but no, you just have to get through the wreck. Okay, well, to be fair, that, th those wrecks are still pretty crazy. That, that was a crazy one. That was, that was pretty bad. All right, so we, we, we made it through. Jesus Christ, look at Bobby Labonte. We got black smoke coming from Rusty Wallace. Look, Labani and Stu look, look at that. All right, so we have Jimmy, we have Rusty, we have Labani, we have Stu. <laughs> what, what, what is going on? Oh, crap, look at that. I got Richard Petty. I just did one one challenge, and I got Richard Petty and the Daytona Road Course. Uh, that's the road course they have in this game? The, the, mm, that looks interesting. All right, so I definitely will do a video on those lightning challenges because I do want to go through all of them. Um... Ooh, Dale and her junior in the EA Sports 500 2001. I remember that one. Uh, oh, this this one was hard. This one, Jeff Burton and Mark Martin. I think I had some trouble with that one. I don't know if I did or not. There's some fuel mileage ones I definitely had trouble in here. Fuel mileage, where is it? Fuel mileage. Uh, I don't know. Actually, I can't find it. There's definitely one here somewhere. Right here, pay at the pump. This was the one. This one was tough. Jerry Nadu ran out of gas. Can you conserve fuel or increase your lead enough? Yeah, so you either had to increase the lead and run out and coast or just conserve fuel. That one was hard. I failed that a few times. All right, guys, that's going to be it for me on NASCAR Thunder 2003. For now, we will be back next week, I promise, on this game because I, I really want to uh, relive my memories on this game. Hello, Dale Jr. How you doing? Uh, but yeah, if you guys like the video, make sure you hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Comment down below. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you're not already. Patreon is in the description below if you would like to support. If not, don't worry. Just subscribe, hit the like button, keep watching. That's all that matters. Take care of yourselves. Enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll see you guys. Am I seeing you guys tomorrow? I think I should. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.